hello everyone welcome to zdu and in our today's video we are going to derive the bernoulli's equation uh, this is the bernoulli's equation the bernoulli's equation is actually the law of conservation of energy that deals with the uh, flow of fluids or with the motion of fluids bernoulli's equation actually relates the pressure flow speed and height for flow of an ideal fluid so today we are going to derive this equation uh, let's consider this pipe and let's consider some kind of incompressible uh, fluid is flowing to this pipe uh, we will derive the Bernoulli's equation let's begin with the work done equation you know that the work done is equal to the change in energy this is the basic equation work done is equal to change in energy and we know that the change in energy is actually the energy can change from one form to another form so they fluctuate between kinetic energy and potential energy so we have del E is equal to the sum of kinetic energy plus the sum of potential energy so the work done is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy now name this equation as equation number one we will later need this equation now look it to the left hand side of this equation which is the work done and the work done for this case when the fluid is uh, flowing through this pipe will be equal to the sum of uh, work done at this first end point and the work done at this second end point so the work done at this first end point will be w1 the work done on the second end point will be equal to w2 so we will have the total work done is equal to w1 plus w2 w1 represents the work done at this end and w2 represent the work done at this end now from the work equation we know that the work done is equal to force times displacement and in term of direction when we deal with the direction then we use uh, fx cos theta this is actually the dot product between force and displacement and that pro dot product we know a dot b is equal to ab cos theta so we have force time displacement ten change in displacement is equal to cos theta now for this first end the fluid is flowing in this direction and we take the normal also in the same direction because the fluid is flowing inside the pipe so we have the cos theta the theta so the uh, normal to the area and the fluid are parallel to each other so we take theta is equal to zero we will have w1 is equal to f del x change in displacement del x is this small uh, change in displacement and theta is equal to zero so we have f del x this is the word done at the first end point where the word done at the second end point will be uh, here the normal to the area is inside and the fluid is flowing outside or away from the this second end so we have theta is equal to 180 degrees and when theta is 180 degrees then we will have cos theta or cos 180 is equal to minus 1 so we have work done 2 is equal to minus f2 del x2 now we have the values for w1 uh, this f del x and for w2 which is uh, force time displacement x2 but is negative because the uh, angle is 180 degrees now we will express these two equations in term of pressure we know that the pressure is p is equal to force per unit area or f divided by a now solving this equation for the value of force we will multiply both side by area and we will get force is equal to pa pressure time area we will substitute the value of this force in this equation this world w1 and w2 equations by substituting the values for this force f is equal to pa and this f is equal to pa we will get w1 is equal to p1 a1 del x and w2 is equal to minus p2 a2 del x2 now 
this area multiply by length this is actually area multiply by displacement is uh, this length so this will give us the volume we know that volume is length multiplied by width multiplied by height or we can take area multiply by length so area multiply by length is equal to volume and here in this equation we have area del a, uh, a multiplied by change in length length is this del x is actually length so we can express this equation in term of volume and we will get w1 is equal to pressure times volume and w2 is equal to minus pressure time volume this is p2 v2 and this is p1 v1 for the first end and this is for the second end now we are going to express this same equation in term of density we know that density is mass per unit volume this is this is volumetric density and the volumetric density is uh, mass per unit volume the density can also be expressed in term of area and length that is mass per unit area or mass per unit length but here we are dealing with a cubic uh, structure are a three dimension structure so here we are dealing with the volume so we have density is represented by rho is equal to del m divided by mass distribution of mass per unit volume del m divided by del v now solving this equation for the value of volume we will have del v is equal to del m divided by rho change in mass divided by density now we will substitute the value for del v in this equation of w1 and w2 by substituting the value for this del v1 we will get del m1 divided by rho and for the second part we will get del m2 divided by rho the density is taken as constant because this is an incompressible fluid or an idle fluid flowing through this uh, this pipe so we have the density the same at first end at, at the second end now we are going to substitute the values of w1 and w2 uh, in this uh, second equation which is w is equal to w1 plus w2 we will get the total work done on the left hand side of the equation is of p1 del m1 divided by rho minus p2 pressure 2 del m2 divided by rho so is density now here we have uh, we have derived the value for this ws is equal to p del m1 divided by density minus pressure 2 mass divided by density now we are we have the value of this w this is equal to this part of the equation now we know that the kinetic energy is actually ke is equal to 1 over 2 mv square mass time velocity square and the change in the kinetic energy this del ke will be equal to 1 over 2 del m2 v2 square minus 1 over 2 del m1 v1 square this is the change in the energy so we uh, this is something like uh, um, v up minus vi final velocity minus initial velocity similarly this is the in the final uh, kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy the kinetic energy at this point will be the initial kinetic energy and the kinetic energy at this point will be the final kinetic energy so we subtract the initial kinetic energy from the final kinetic energy and we get 1 over 2 del m2 v2 square minus 1 over 2 del m1 v1 square this is the value of change in kinetic energy now this second part the this is the potential energy term and we know that the potential energy is actually mass time gravity times height mgh now the change in the potential energy will be uh, the potential energy p2 uh, u2 minus u1 the initial potential energy so we subtract the initial potential energy from the final potential energy and we get change in potential energy as m2 gh2 minus uh, m1 gh1 so we have the values for change in kinetic energy change in potential energy and the value for the work done w we sub uh, substitute the value of work done change in kinetic energy and change in potential energy 
in this equation number one now by substituting the values of this w del ke and change in potential energy in equation number one we will get p1 del m1 divided by density minus p2 m2 divided by density this is the value of this w while the change in kinetic energy is uh, this is the value for the change in kinetic energy and this is the value for the change in potential energy now we will solve this equation and derive the final form of Bernoulli's equation now we will substitute here the del m1 mass flowing inside uh, the first end of the pipe will be equal to the mass flowing to the second end of the pipe the same amount of uh, of fluid going inside this end will be equal to the same amount of fluid uh, going out from that end of the pipe so for that case we will have del m1 is equal to del m2 this mass at this end will be equal to mass at the second end and we denote them with del m so we can substitute del m1 m del m2 by del m by substituting this value we will get this new equation now in this new equation this del m is constant we can take del m from both the sides of the equation by taking del m constant from this side and we will take del m also constant from this side so we have del m will cancel out with this del m and this one over row we will multiply this row density term uh, with this side by multiplying this side with density and this side with uh, density so we will have this density term will cancel out with this term at, at left hand side of the equation we will have p1 minus p2 and this density will multiply with each of these terms now here in this equation uh, we will move all the p1 uh, v, v1 and h1 terms to the left hand side and all those um, terms for the second end of the pipe to the right hand side by rearranging this equation we will get uh, p1 plus 1 over 2 rho v1 square plus rho g1 square and on the right hand side we will get p2 plus 1 over 2 rho v2 square plus rho g h2 and this is the final form of the Bernoulli's equation the Bernoulli's equation in uh, so this term total term is taken as constant and we can write this as uh, pressure 1 plus 1 over 2 density v1 square plus or uh, density times gravity times height is equal to constant uh, what does this equation mean is that uh, uh, this is actually the conservation of energy uh, for an incompressible and non-viscous fluid the total mechanical energy this is the total mechanical energy of the fluid will be constant that's it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy to you for more videos